you gonna get? Oof. Hello everybody, I'm right here. Uh, today I am with my Kana in Ardent Mill. Uh, I want to do a couple of stuff on camera because this involves around meso making. Yuck, these rings suck. I am recording like crazy right now just because there's just so much to do and I might as well hit record. I'm just really trying to neglect the editing process because I don't like that at all. Still. <laughs> I've done this for so long and I still dread every time I edit just for that type of stuff. The, the rendering, the PC being a potato things. It's not enjoyable. Well, I suppose like Maple still runs fine while I render, but it's like I kind of just want to play Maple and then work on videos, if that makes sense. Anyways, today I am with the Kana because my Kana's inventory in the auction house is empty. We are going to do a quick search on the prices of all the CRAs to see what is worthwhile to redeem and what isn't. So, so far. Ooh, assassin hoods are up there for the wanders. Okay, so thief hat. I'm just gonna make a quick note on the items. All right, so that's the hat settled. Uh, what about tops? Whoa, that's kind of cheap. How much were they uh, sold for not too long ago? Oh, okay, so they were around the uh, 40 mil mark then. Uh, what about you whoa none in the that's crazy and there okay someone help me out here in which universe would this item be worth 1 billion mesos that flame is garbage there's only one line of it it's not even three line revealed and it's only six int do I need to start doing this? Because I feel bad if I sell this to someone. A clean top got sold for 300. Okay, well maybe I will stick it to the mage. Let's see though. Oh. These guys are a little bit more steady. Thief, not so much. Wander, eh. Okay, I'll settle on mage tops then. Onwards to the pants. Just realized, Meso episodes are actually not so bad because I get them recorded pretty much like in a day or two. This is worth two bill. Well, maybe I'm just underpricing my crap then. What about you? 180. How much was the? Okay, not worth. Uh, Ranger pants, Assassin pants, and Wanderer pants. Ooh. What about you? Whoa! Did someone actually buy it for 30 bill or was it like a last transition sort of thing? Because that's crazy. Okay, 800 mil for this flame. Guys, flames are cheap. Okay, I guess it's uh, pirate pants then. But yeah, like I was saying, Meso episodes are easy to record and really annoying to edit because there's so much storytelling that I have to piece together. Uh, but commentary wise it's just so relaxing because it's like I just have to ramble on for several minutes at a time and then uh, it just all eventually just goes into the 30 minute time zone type of thing so I I'm done with an a meso episode like pretty quickly but the recordings just sit in my storage for like a while because I'm just so lazy and I need to do other things but you know I'll eventually get around to it just not right now uh, I believe we were choosing thief hats right all right so nine items let's take a look at the flames here garbage that's all right uh, pretty garbage all right meh that's, that's alright as well. That's alright. That's garbage. Garbage. And also garbage. Uh, which is fine. But, whoa! <laughs> that lag. So, I'm just gonna move all of these items over to my Kana. My Kana is basically a 
buffer for my auction house slots anyways. So while I'm busy trying to sell my unique shoulder and my Princess No Path and 3 line the uh, mage hat and all that, uh, at least I have another character that can continuously and constantly make mess so while I wait with this guy. Which is cool. I wonder, can you inject chocolate in here? Ah, cool. Oh, that, that would be so funny. What you can do is, like, just take a whole bunch of the chocolates, bring it to Ardent Mill during an MVP, and then just inject yourself and throw it all over the place. I just looked at my Kana's screen, and I just saw something pretty, like, crazy. Unrelenting flames are... Holy crap, everything is so cheap. I love it. This is so wonderful. I want more of this in my life, please. In fact, let's go make a another cube. Uh, oh, wait. Okay, that's enough for two Meisters. I am still waiting for that uh, three-line strength on my cape. And knowing potentials, I it's just going to take like a lot of time anyways. Especially with Meisters cubes. Uh, but who knows. One of these days I'll do it, but it's not my main focus for the time being. This is all about meso making. This is another me episode. Uh, gotta start saving up a whole bunch because uh, we're gonna be star forcing at the end of this month. Oh my goodness, guys. I gotta be honest, I cannot wait till I get my K Legion because it feels so out of my way to accomplish this. It's like I'm taking a detour for my progression, even though this is sort of like on the path to getting a better progression. Or sorry, getting better funded. But man, do I hate grinding. Thank goodness though, this is my last uh, level three link skill that I have to level. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do my Lumi, but if I ever have to, at least uh, leveling a Lumi is super easy. Oh no. I'm so close. Am I gonna make it? I think I'll make it. Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely make it. Nice! One session, one level. Okay, so we have enough coins to grab that last red cube coupon, so we might as well do that. My Kana also got another red cube coupon during that too, so that's exciting. So last one for uh, this event here. So let's see. Wait. Oh, okay. I lost a coupon. I thought I gained a red cube, so I thought I got two red cubes instead. All right. So let's see how this goes. Two line luck. All right. Not amazing. All right. Kana's turn. Yuck. Yeah, nothing. Almost triple a line max MP though. Maintenance just finished. So, uh, checking auction house. Nothing sold yet. Which is always not the best feeling. But I know my prices are still pretty low. We, uh, definitely can recheck the prices. Ah, okay, I see. Someone put it down to 2.1. I guess I could match that, so we'll go here. These rings are whatever. Absolab Bandit Suit. So yeah, I'm just being as proactive as I can with uh, pricing my pieces here, because if I want them sold, then I definitely need them. Go in somewhere. But you? Still the same. We can do that and that. All right, we'll keep trying. I saw something get sold. Hopefully it's something big. Okay, I'll take that. Let me kill it, let me kill it. It's dead. Nice. Did we get anything? Oh, no. Mm, Fuck. Uh, I don't think so. Mm. Uh, oh, we did. I oh, can't remember got... Shining wa Rod. Oh, Rod. That's bad. It's, it's alright, right? Is that right? the Luminous one? Yeah, yeah. it's the Luminous. That okay. should be okay, right? 
You can always sell like to zero, sell. bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's day one of trying to sell this uh, Arcane Umbra Shining Wand. Uh, currently, I have an offer for 30 bill, which is pretty nice, but I am going to try and look for a bit more here. Uh, it's come to my attention that I could possibly make a lot more from the stuff I've been hoarding. Yeah, so look at that. The game crashed. <laughs> hmm. What if we gave this a try here? I think I am going to try and change course. I think I mentioned this before. I don't remember. I've recorded so much. And edited so little that if you see this repeat clip or repeat idea again, I apologize. But we're going to try instead of tr uh, getting lines on my uh, cape. We're going to try and tear up the boots here. So I, I bought enough to make two, so we're going to make one for my boot and one for my cape. So we're gonna start with the boot first. So that's a no tier up for me. Round two. I do appreciate that everything is super cheap though. That's why I'm like thinking maybe I should just buy a whole stockpile of stuff first uh, because of the possibility that the, they'll change it back or whatever. Oh, it's already in my inventory. But at the moment, I'm still trying to hold off because of the event I was saying. Oh, but now is a pretty good time to check the prices of Mugongs. Uh, oh, the fusions are pretty cheap too. Cubic weight 2.2 million. Mm -mm -mm, not good anymore. What is this? Is this worth it? Uh, maybe. I don't think I would buy it though. Uh, Mugong. 60 again. Oh, that's rough. How much was bought in between now and before? Uh, I'm probably still not going to put up mine. Just because this is... I'm probably still not going to put up mine. From what I remember, if this is the same person, which it looks like it is, they put up 500... Honor Medals, which is about 10 weeks worth of uh, Mugongs, I believe. I think it's 10 weeks of Dojo, if you get about 40 to 50 every week. Uh, so I'm just going to try to wait for all of this to deplete, because the next wall of uh, Honor Medals is right here. So I'd rather compete with this rather than this right now so it's, nope 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 just finished dailies and this is my haul for today this is a lot more than i usually get i think there were some that i uh did not get from bosses i think they were from crafting most likely because i have such a stockpile of cubic blades uh i'm topping up my uh smithing by a lot I, in fact, I think I'm doing laps around this uh, mastery bar, actually. <laughs> uh, so today, I am feeling like, because I don't have a cubing project anymore to sell, I feel like we should get another piece of Absolab equipment. So, might as well do this on camera. Just refreshed all my stuff in the auction house. I'm at eight slots, so I'm not necessarily happy about that because I need to be completely filled. Okay, let's take a look at the fusions, okay? And what about faint stigmas? All right. I want to take a look at night gloves, possibly. Pirate gloves. What about you? Mage Gloves. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not... I don't want that. S All right. What about Bandit Gloves? Absolutely not. And to tickle my fancy, Archer Gloves. 
Yikes. Alright, what about a cape? No? Uh, what's the other piece of equipment? Shoe. No? This is the worst part about searching up prices in the auction house. You just can't, like, do much about it. Um, 2.3, most recent. I searched up gloves already. What was the other thing? Cape. Pirate cape. Oh, that's pretty far up. Should I do a pirate cape? It looks like I can do a pirate cape, but there hasn't been too many sales, which is what I'm worried about. I'm trying to look for uh, an item that's been sold really, really recently and very frequently, or the most frequently, and also the most bang for my buck that I can get. Mm, I think mage gloves is the way to go. Yeah. Mage gloves looks pretty good. All right, then. Uh, how many things do I have here? Diffusion. Okay, so I will have to get 40 of these. So the cost that I... That's going to... Yeah, excuse me. It's going to cost me 760 mil to make. If I could resell it at 2.4 bill, that's pretty good profit. This time around, though, I'm not going to be doing uh, Haven dailies because I generally don't do them. I feel like they are very time consuming compared to the Dark World Tree dailies. So I generally just skip it. So down the hatch for a hundred mil or so. But I think it's worth the time savers. So we are going to exchange that. Now we are going to grab the mage gloves. Yes. So what's the flame on it? Oh, that is not bad at all. That is actually pretty excellent for a reveal. So, hopefully it's three lines. Yes. Ah, got it. Very nice, actually. So, I believe that's grounds for another good sale. Let's double check on the prices and uh, guesstimate what I can possibly ask for it. If we take a look at the market price here. So we got a good flame. We got a good potential. I think I can definitely get it for four bill for sure. Uh, if not three or so, but I th I'm gonna go for four at this moment. So I'm not looking to milk everything about this, but I am trying to get my money's worth. So this is what I would consider like in the second department of items that I would sell. Here's some more of that uh, first type of item or first department action going on. I am getting more CRA to, to transfer over to my Kana. I generally try to put the inexpensive stuff on that character just because of the transfer fees. So getting hit by 10%, so 5% for the Kana and then 5% to transfer it over to me is not as detrimental uh, than if I were to sell something that's worth like a lot more. Hmm. Nothing too amazing. So we'll move these over here first. So I'm gonna hit trade and then I'm gonna hit accept. Very good. I got this today, which is pretty decent. Uh, kinda wanna mess around with it. So this has an int flame on it. So I'm gonna try and roll for int. Currently what I'm doing with these equipments is that I'm fusing them to try and get a pretty decent flame to fund uh, my characters. But I figured today, for this episode, we can uh, do a bit of mess while making using these items just to show that I, uh, this is what I consider doing as well. There we go. 3% uh, in. Since my... Uh, what stat is it? I don't even remember. 
insight. My insight's max rank, so I actually don't even get charged for rolling potential on here. But yeah, but then the next step would be to just uh, spell trace and then star force this. And then you can sell it for a pretty good amount of profit. Uh, relatively speaking, this isn't my biggest money maker, but this is still a pretty decent money maker. Sometimes this doesn't go your way and you can consider innocencing it. I have so many spell traces, it really doesn't matter. I'll give this two tries here, so I'll waste 10k spell traces. Okay, so, hooray! A piece of uh, etc. slot is now opened up for me. But yeah, then I would just star force this to max. Hooray. Now pass it on to the Kana. And now it's worth way more than it's supposed to. I want to have a little bit of fun with the fusing mechanic in this game. So here I have two pretty crappily flamed golden belts. These are pretty good for uh, mules, by the way. So, uh, okay, 40 int and 4 magic attack. That's all right, but I am looking more so for all stat. I have a black bean mark here. I also have a black bean mark. Oh, no, I don't. Never mind. Okay, I got earrings and I got... Oh, no, I would keep that, so... Oh, I got two cups. How much are holy cups, though? I want to make sure that uh, I'm not fusing away money here. 30 mil? Eh. I think we can have some fun. So. We'll fuse you. We'll fuse you. And then we'll pray that we get something much better flame-wise. If not, whatever. 16. Five. Nope. Cha-ching! Yes! Okay, last thing I'm gonna do for a big trade to show like the third department. Uh, basically, you can divide these department into short-term, mid-term, and long-term types of sales. So uh, this is the long-term type of thing. So similarly to the Arcane Dagger, I'm selling uh, the Luminous Rod that my party got this week. Uh, I'm selling it to this person. We have agreed to a price, even though at the very end, even though it's just like really crappy communication with this person and I'm not enjoying it. Why does this mule also have Max Meso on it? So I gotta empty out my inventory here so that I can accept the Meso here. Uh, right, so here's the guy. And make sure I have the Lumi one on hand. And then we will trade with you. So I am not going to budge until I get 10 first. And then I'm going to get the 30 for the thing. So 10 bill first. Good. And so we do this. Trade again. Doing something else right now, must have been getting Meso. Oh, traded me instead, that's fine. So he put on the Shining Rod, wait for the 30 bill, and hit trade. So now we say thank you very much, even though we had a mildly unpleasant experience with them. And yeah, that's basically all of the different ways I make money, short term, mid term, and long term. And now it's time to pay each member of my party, starting with you. Why? There was a comment on a couple episodes ago. Uh, someone was saying that they had a bunch of mesos and items to give to me. Now, I don't ever feel like I want to take all of these things. I, I don't like the idea where it's like I'm sort of just scavenging out of like uh, 
people who quit the game and have like stuff left over. I don't like that idea. So, but at the same time, they're saying that they want to give these things to me because uh, they like watching the series. And I do appreciate it if you guys like the series and want to support it and all that. Oops, wrong channel. Uh, but I guess the premise is just like, I don't really want to take stuff from like random people too much. Uh, so this is what I'm going to do. Uh, so whatever I'm about to get, um, by the way, I don't know exactly what I am getting. Because uh, we're a little bit vague about uh, what was to come. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give away some of it. I I'm not going to lie. I do want some of the stuff, uh, just because it would it would help me a lot. Uh, but I don't feel right in taking all of it. So we'll figure out what's going on first, and then I'll see what is, I think is fair. Oh dang. Oh jeez. Yoink. I don't know. It always feels like a weird position to be in, in exactly where I am. It's like, on one hand, I want to do a lot of things by myself. On the other hand, the game is very, like, unbalanced to free to playing. So, like, getting help is always appreciated. And then on the other hand, it's like, uh, I, I don't want to sit on my butt and just get free stuff from people. So, it, it feels weird for sure. I, I'm not exactly... 100% sure how I feel. Oh man, that's a lot of flames. Let me mark this down. This was 30 bill, 9 eternals, got 7 bill more, 7 bill, a B pot stamp, a CSS. Oh man, that's very generous. Thank you very much. Oh man. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Even the blue shoulder. Oh, that's crazy. I don't think I need all of this stuff though. So, uh, we'll we'll, we'll sort it out once uh, we get everything. Just want to make sure that's everything before I uh, do it all. All right. Thank you very much for the donation. Much appreciated. Like totally. This is. Really, really helpful for what I am in the middle of. Uh, so, in total, we got 37 bill. We got 10 Eternals. We got a B-Pot stamp. Uh, and we also have a Damien Roid and a Hero of Legend. Okay, first things first, though. I am going to use those Eternal Flames that I got. Uh, I am in the process of reflaming all my uh, uh, equipment, and I was holding on to some flames in anticipation for just getting a whole bunch of them eventually. Uh, so this is sort of like the big incentive to do so. Uh, I did not get my Rebirth Flames from the Legion coin shop yet because of that. Oh, speaking of which, I forgot. Uh, today is extra, extra special because of the sunny Sunday, so we we can get a lot of coins in the, from today's quest. So we should quickly do that. All right, so let's collect the coins I got from my raid, but we should also get 70 from here and 140 from here. So a total of 210 coins, which is excellent. Alright, so, uh, I'm definitely going to use all of these flames. Uh, hopefully I can get a three line on my pants, if not just, you know, everything. So we're going to start off with the red flames. Uh, that is... nope. That is also a nope. Uh, that is... yuck. Nope. I see a tier six line though, so that's pretty cool. 24 and all, 5 all stats? No. So here we go. We're going to start using these Eternals here. Uh, I'm okay with losing the stat now. Because, uh... Well, I, I just am. <laughs> uh, no good line so far. Uh, oh, we got 60... Uh, that's still a 2 line. 
I actually doubt that is better than uh, what I currently have with my other CRA gear. Uh, I'm trying not to touch my tyrants because eventually they're going to get replaced. Uh, the only other thing is uh, my belt, and I definitely think this is much better than 60 strength, so we'll keep going for now. Uh, okay. Alright. This is looking highly unlikely that I'm going to get something good. Alright. So, I lost, uh... Oh, I lost a bit of stat, but it's okay. I, I appreciate... Uh, being able to have the opportunity to uh, mess around anyways. Uh, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, I have a new personal flaming project now. <laughs> so obviously with all of the donations that I get, I can't necessarily give a portion of everything that I receive, but uh, once in a while I do want to try and pay it forward because I do appreciate your gestures. Uh, of donating stuff to me and at the same time I also want to pass it along to uh, other people as well. I just want you guys to keep enjoying these videos and uh, keep watching them uh, and just be in for the journey along the way. Uh, really appreciate it still nonetheless so thank you very much uh, Daniel for the donation. Uh, I am on my Angelic Buster because uh, she's holding on to some of my gear that I'm trying to figure out what I want to pass along to. So I have a, a black bean ring and a level one of these 10 attacks and then these are my two other rings so uh, I got a level 10 and a level 17 so I might swap out one of them with the level 17s for the level 10s and then I'll give away two level 17s. Yeah that would be pretty good. Uh, I can pass along some training gear for uh, my viewers and stuff. Either way, I will sort this all myself, so I'm officially announcing this. Uh, the next time I am going to stream, uh, I will be doing a giveaway of the items that I... of a portion of the items that I got. Not all of the stuff that I got, since I already used the flames and I'm keeping some of the mess up, but... Uh, like I said, I'm not going to give a date, I'm not going to give a time, it's just going to be the next time after this episode that I will do the giveaway. So if you are interested in trying to win some of this, uh, then f follow me on Twitch and be notified of whenever I get live. Uh, and yeah, we'll figure it out from there. Obviously, you yeah, gotta be in Scania to, so, to receive these items, so keep that in mind. And once again, uh, I guess that will be it for now, so... Thank you very much for watching this episode, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.